Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. This is the third tutorial in our series of um, tutorials for beginners in Java. In the last tutorial, we looked at Java's primitive types. Um, there are eight primitive types in Java. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at our first non-primitive type, the string type. And then uh, in the next tutorial, we can look at loops. But before we do anything with loops, we need to know how to represent text in Java. So I'm in Eclipse as usual, and I'm going to create a new Java project. And I'm going to give it a name. Um, let's call it Tutorial 3. And click Next and Finish. Now. As in the first tutorial, we're going to create a class, which will be the only class in our little test program here. I'm going to right click on the project folder and go to new class. And um, this time I'm not going to tick public static void main. I'm not going to ask it to create a main method just because I want to show you a different way of doing that. Um, I'll give the class a name. I'm going to call this application. Click finish. And here is my application class. Now, every program in Java, as we saw in the first tutorial, must have a main method, and that's where the program starts. And one way of creating one, uh, of course you could type it yourself here, but just to show you another Eclipse shortcut, I'll type main and press control space and hit return and hey presto, I've got a main method. The only thing is um, the indentation is all wrong here and I'm going to select that and press tab once because Every time you have brackets like these, everything inside them should be indented one tab. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to keep track of what belongs to what. So um, we saw in the last tutorial that you can create um, an integer variable, which is kind of just a box that you can put integers into like this. So int um, my int equals seven semicolon, for example. And in the same way, you can create a string type which holds text, except that it's string with an uppercase S, because string is not a primitive type, it's actually a class. And I'll call this text, for example, it could be anything. And I'll set that equal to some text, um, hello. Um, so what's going on here? Um, I'm going to labour this point a little bit because gradually I want to introduce you to the concept of objects and classes. And so string is a class, which means it's just a type. For example, in a real world, we have cats, um, but the concept cats isn't, doesn't refer to a particular cat. It's, it's a general type of, of something. Uh, it's a type of animal, in fact. And in the same way, string here is a type of object that can hold text. Um, this is a variable which is, which is capable of not of um, holding or storing a, a string um, instance, but it's capable of referring to a thing that has the type string. And don't worry if this sounds like Greek because We'll keep coming back to it and you'll gradually get used to it. And this is actually a text object. So you've got a class here, string, and a particular instance of the class, in other words, an object, here. And I can output that just by typing sys out, control space, and put text in there. And if I click run, uh, we should get hello if my computer wasn't so horrendously slow. And you can do lots of interesting things with strings. For example, you can add them together. Let's create a string called um, blank. 
and I'll set that equal to just some empty space like that. And I'll create another string called um, name and I'll set that equal to Bob. Um, I can add all these strings together. I can say, okay, here's a string um, greeting and whoop, greeting and I'm going to put that equal to text plus blank plus name semicolon and remember that every statement must end in a semicolon. Now if I put greeting in here it's going to output hello and space and Bob and in fact um, you can add string objects together directly because I can achieve the same thing uh, if I type system.out.println and I could write for example Bob plus some space plus hello no no actually I wanted to type hello space and Bob and then whoop, semicolon at the end of the line and we'll get the same thing again and you can also um, if you've got for example an int you can you can output you can concatenate that with a string when we add strings we speak about concatenating I'll type sys out control space um, and for example I can say my integer is um, and add my int and if I run that my integer is 7 hey presto and notice this is a very laboured way of doing this because I've got to just type one long string um, that said hello space Bob but I've just to show you um, addition of strings concatenation I've created three separate strings here um, Lots of other things you can do with strings and we will look at some more things um, in the next tutorial. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you how you can output some text and you can work variables into it. And one last thing is, um, um, yeah, supposing you have some variable, let's declare a, a double variable double precision floating point number 7.8 and of course I can put that in the middle of a string as well I can say my number is plus well I missed off the variable name my double um, my double plus um, and let's just have a full stop and that will also work my number is 7.8. That's all for this tutorial. Um, pretty simple. Have fun. Um, try adding strings together and see what you get. And in the next tutorial, we'll look at loops and we'll start really leveraging the power of Java to do things that would be incredibly tedious to do by hand. That's all for this time. Um, you can find more information and tutorials on caveofprogramming.com. I hope you'll join me again for the next tutorial. Um, my name's John, uh, and until next time, happy coding. <laughs>